park rules. No drugs or alcohol, no unleashed dogs, no littering, and no metal detectors. That's what it says here at the entrance to Rollerter Park, but that hasn't always been the case. Uh, long before that was posted, about 25 years ago, I used to hunt here and found quite a few silver coins. But uh, anyway, that doesn't matter because that's not where we're going to be hunting. I'm going to be hunting on this side of the road, which is city property. And uh, I talked to a local detectorist who said it was hunted out, but, you know, I still want to give it a shot. I'm going to get out there and see what pops up. Just got my first good target. It was about seven inches down. And it's a uh, Barber Dime. It'll focus there. Can't see that date. I have to get it cleaned up and get a better look at it, but there we go. Hadn't been here about 15 minutes and I already got silver, so off to a good start. All right, I'll let you hear this one. Twelve forty-six at six inches. Well, it took me a minute to locate that one once I opened up the hole, but I did get another silver. It's a 1942 Washington. Right there, maybe six inches deep or so. I just got what I believe is a little uh, silver ring. Pretty sure that's going to be silver. Well, I didn't think this was going to be anything because it was only uh, three inches deep. But as I flipped over the plug, you see I got silver here. It's 1147 signal. Silver Washington, 1948. Got a 1234 signal right there, and I was pretty sure it was going to be an Indian head, but it turned out to be a hem weight. Uh, 1234. Just got a 1234 signal right there, uh, probably five inches down, and look what popped out. That's a three ring, uh oh, three ring mini ball. Been a little while since I found one of those. Let you hear this one before I dig it. 12.45 at 5 inches. Alright, stand by. I'll dig it up and show you what it is. Okay, hopefully you can see this. It'll focus. It's getting dark here. But that one was a mercury dime. I uh, can't make out the date right now, but we'll put a picture of it up later. been kind of lazy about doing wrap-ups lately but I wanted to do one for this hunt because I want to show you something but uh, we'll go over some of the other finds first got those old clock parts that bigger piece was probably a foot down in the ground took me forever to get it out this one was found only a few feet away so I imagine they went together uh, there's a couple of old bottle caps looks like it says ER Durkee trademark New York some kind of weird old bottle and that's all the clad I got, which was kind of surprising. I, I thought I'd find a lot more, but I guess whoever hunted there before just got all the easy stuff and left some of the deeper coins for me, which I'm not complaining. Uh, got a total of eight wheat cents, total of five silvers with two Washington quarters, a mercury dime, and a really nice looking barber dime, 1898. That was in really good shape. Also got the little sterling ring I uh, got a hem weight, and this is what I wanted to show you. When I first dug this out of the ground, I just thought it was a regular three ring mini ball, which is a, a neat find, but I've actually found hundreds of these in the past, so I didn't think anything about it. I just chunked it in the pouch and kept on hunting. But as I got home and did some cleaning on it, I noticed that there was a little flat spot on the inside, and if you look really closely, you can see a star on there, which means it's from the Washington Arsenal. I've only found one other marked mini ball in the past, and that was an L marked infield. So this is kind of like a mini bucket lister. Really happy to have that one. 
anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Happy hunting, and I'll see you next time.